first thing um, you need is really a set of goggles that will keep your eyes nice and safe and well protected from any potential flying glass and it will chip and fly but there are things you can do to help you uh, protect yourself from from that uh, if you already wear glasses it will save your glasses getting scratched and you needing a new pair these are readily available at any hardware place um, and at generally a good price so you don't have to outlay lots and lots of money so safety goggles are really important the other thing you want to keep on hand is the band-aids ready for that moment when you get a little glass splinter or you accidentally cut yourself or poke yourself on a sharp bit but we'll look at ways to um, help reduce that as well along the way um, and hopefully you won't cut yourself too often but there's always the little splinters that you can't see so always have those handy when you start cutting the other thing i do is avoid um, red sharpies because if you're using red sharpies to draw your pattern and you start and you do cut yourself you won't see the blood because the glass is really sharp so you may not even feel it cut you until you've got all this red stuff so i avoid a red sharpie You also want something to dispose of your little bits and pieces. So in here I keep the, the little tiny bits of glass that I might reuse somewhere. So you might have a little tiny bit of um, mirror that you might want to put in a space that doesn't pass the pinky test. And uh, I think you've all probably seen my little video on that little hint and tip, but we'll cover that along the way as well. You want to also collect the pieces of glass or waste in, in a container that you might want to wrap up. Or you might want to have one for scrap and one for stuff that you're going to keep and reuse, cut down into smaller sizes for your mosaic so you don't waste all your glass. The other really good thing for um, safety is a diamond pad of some sort. I wouldn't go to any number lower than 200 and what happens is when you cut a piece of glass like this strip the bit underneath is going to be the really sharp bit so just dab it in a little bit of water which I always have a dab of water and just run it once twice and three times for good luck and you pretty much take the sharpness off that it's as simple as that so that's one way to help reduce the amount of cutting you're going to do on yourself and potential bleeding. The other thing this is great for is to take those points off the end. I just do three for good luck. Two is probably sufficient. So when, it's, uh, when you're doing this, it's way less in terms of cutting yourself. So think of that as not only a... a, a um, great thing to have to help you shape things but also as a safety tool to take those horrible rough edges off but also uh, when you're mosaicing to take any of those rough bits off as well before you uh, start to glue. The other thing I have is a, an apron um, and this is a great little apron it's got a adjustable neck clip so I can get it to fit properly it also has a tie at the front which makes life really easy particularly for us old girls um, and it's a very smooth wipeable one what that does is keep all the glass splinters out of your clothes so you're not carrying them inside the house or where your pets or family might be so that they end up with glass splinters in their feet their hands or heavens above cook it in their dinner um, so really pay attention to your safety the next part we'll look at cutting tools followed by actually doing the the strips and cutting them up so you can fast forward to that if you like <music> 